Today, we are getting this question a lot on our support portal. One of the things that we like to do is get feedback from our customers, document frequently asked questions, and then publish them back to our knowledge-based articles. Hey guys, Jesse here. Real quick, I got another quick training for you, five minutes or less. I'm gonna talk with you about SharePoint administration uh, and inviting new users into your SharePoint site collection. For those of you who don't know, we're of course an Office 365 partner. We have been for years. We actually got our start in business infrastructure as it comes to email and exchange deployment, SharePoint, communication platforms uh, for chat like Teams, and then also voice over IP and infrastructure in regards to the networking side. And that's where we started off probably, shoot, since 2001, we've been in technology and business technologies. And over the last 15 plus years, we've been uh, moved towards sales and marketing automation and technology. So today we're getting this question a lot on our support portal. One of the things that we like to do is get feedback from our customers, document frequently asked questions, and then publish them back to our knowledge base articles. So the future customers can get their information on our website. In the lower right hand corner, there's a chat bot that you can go to to get access to all of our knowledge base articles, frequently asked questions about our company, who we are, what it is that we do, our philosophies, principles, and strategies, tools, tactics, all that kind of stuff can be accessed through our chat bot on our website. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do so if you have any questions. Hey there, Jesse here, and this is not a glitch. I paused your video for a brief announcement. First and foremost, you've been getting value out of this content. Do me a small favor, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it very much and it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Let them know we know what it is that we're talking about. Secondly, if you'd like to get access to future trainings, go ahead and jump over to our YouTube channel. Subscribe, set up notifications so you don't miss a single one. Lastly, all these videos are meant to be interactive. So if you have any questions about the content I'm sharing, good or bad, go ahead and meet me in the comments section and I'll get those handled for you. Now back to your video about what it is that we're up to. This is an easy one, uh, but I've been getting this question quite a bit, so I wanted to get it answered for you, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. We'll go ahead and blur out the logos here as to not to reveal anything in regards to the site and the URL, but what we wanna do is we wanna share this site collection with external users, not users on Office 365, but external users can also collaborate with people inside of SharePoint. So what we do is we just go into the share button on the homepage, right? Because of course we hit the share button on any sub page and or asset within the site collection. It's not going to work now. So first we enter the email address. Then we just set the permissions. You know, we have unique permissions in this client's uh, circumstance because they have their primary site collection. And then within that, they have company site collections that they use to uh, manage projects inside of SharePoint, which is incredibly powerful if you're looking for collaboration tools that have uh, you know, communication tools and uh, file sharing and things like that inside of all one site collection that you can invite people into and collaborate and manage user permissions and all that kind of stuff. So what we wanna do is just make sure that we, in this case, we would set member access to contribute to the actual site itself. Hey there, Jesse here, and this is not a glitch. Your video is not broken, believe it or not. I paused the video for a brief service announcement. First and foremost, if you're getting value out of this video training, do me a small favor, give us a thumbs up. This helps us work with the YouTube algorithm, it helps YouTube know that we know what it is that we're talking about. Secondly, if you're interested in customer lifecycle automation and you have questions, go ahead and meet me in the comments section. I'll get those answered for you. Or if you'd like to get more information on online optimization, jump over to the Razor Sharp YouTube channel. Subscribe, set up notifications so you don't miss future publications of our videos. Lastly, for all my business owners out there, my service trade, marketing professionals, my designers who are in the direct mail space, I got a special treat for you. I just recently partnered with a company called What's Mailing. They're the leading source of direct mail content and they're building a massive database of inspiration and marketing design. Now in the past, direct mail has been cost prohibitive because of the costs associated with testing the market. Well, What's Mailing not only solves that problem, but it gives us the ability to shrink our production schedule when it comes to direct mail. They give us the ability to segment based off of industry, to take a look at hundreds of companies, 
doing hundreds of millions of dollars in direct mail and find out what's working and what's not. Take a look at their creative, their copy, all the things that are working all the way down to their envelope. It's an incredibly powerful platform. And I would highly encourage if you're interested in leveraging direct mail for your business, go over and check it out before you make a single decision about your creative for your direct mail campaign. They have a free account. You can go ahead and get that set up, get access to the database, take a look up to 10 pieces on what's mailing for your specific industry. It's an incredibly powerful tool and I'm super excited about sharing it and sharing our experience with what's mailing in the coming days, weeks, and months. Now, back to your video. In this use case, uh, what happens is we create a project task list and then we assign those to external users and they can utilize that task list in order to track the progress of the tasks. And then what we can do is we can build out um, scorecards to see if we're on track or not inside of SharePoint, which makes it really effective from a project management standpoint um, and really taking those tasks and creating some real-time user data to uh, make actionable for project managers. So I digress. <laughs> Anyways, we, we just share this out. You're going to get notification that the email went out and the user will receive an email with an invitation link. What I like to do is also provide this link here so that they can bookmark that link back to their project site so they don't have to um, worry about where it's located because of course each, each one of the sub sites are on their own unique URL. So those are important. Uh, so we would go through that with each one of the users that want to be invited to this collaborative workspace and inevitably create an environment that is specific to the actual project, manage user access, manage project tasks, manage scorecards, uh, project management, and everything like that. So SharePoint becomes a really great environment for that. So if you're new to SharePoint, that uh, should be helpful to, to you if you've been around for a while. Uh, it's probably old news. Uh, either way, hopefully you enjoyed the training. Till the next time we speak, make today and every day a fantastic day. Check out that view behind me. It's beautiful.